Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to enable BitLocker drive encryption on Windows 10. Now I find it to be very important to note that you have to be running either the professional or enterprise version of Windows 10 or Windows 8 if you're on a Windows 8 machine and you're watching this tutorial in order to use BitLocker. So I just want to make that point very clear. If you're using the home version of either Windows 8 or Windows 10, you should not proceed with this tutorial because it will not work for you. So with that out of the way, Windows does have the ability to encrypt system files with a built-in encryption system in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our computer settings. So I'm going to go under our start menu and I'm going to type in this PC should be listed directly above the desktop app entry uh, so you want to left click on that so then you want to find whichever drive you're looking to encrypt in most cases it will be the C drive so what you want to do at that point is right click on your drive and then left click on this little option that says turn on BitLocker you have to have an administrative account in order to do this so in some cases you might receive this error saying starting BitLocker, this device can't use a trusted platform module. Your administrator must set the allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM option and the require additional authentication at startup policy for OS volumes. So you might be wondering what, what are you going to do at this point. So what we're going to do is open up the local group policy editor. So I'm going to minimize our window there and I'm going to type in local group policy and it should be listed as a control panel entry so it'll say edit group policy you want to left click on that So on the left side here, you want to click on the drop down arrow next to administrative templates underneath computer configuration. So you want to do the first one, you do not want to click on the last administrative templates. So with that out of the way, underneath administrative templates, you want to go down towards the bottom of this drop down where it says Windows Components and left click on the little drop down next to that as well. So then at this point you want to, you don't really actually have to scroll down because you want to go access or BitLocker drive encryption folder here. So we want to left click on the little drop down next to that. And then left click on the folder that says operating system drives. So now you want to double click on the option on the right here. It says require additional authentication at startup. So double click on that. So when you're on a page, it looks like this, and this is require additional authentication at startup. What you want to do is switch this to the enabled position. So at that point, click on apply and OK. Now you can close out of the local group policy editor. And I'm going to reopen our this PC window. So now, again, I'm going to right click on our drive. And then left click on turn on BitLocker. So right now it's just verifying that our PC meets the basic system requirements. This may take a few moments. So then you'll receive a little notification saying BitLocker drive encryption setup. When you turn on BitLocker, your computer performs the following steps. It'll prepare your drive for BitLocker and it will also encrypt the drive. So then what you want to do is left click on next at the bottom here. So if you get a little thing here saying an existing driver unallocates free space on its hard drive will be used to turn on BitLocker. If you click on details, you can see a new system drive will be created from free space on drive C. The new drive will not have a drive letter so it's almost setting up a new partition on our computer here. 
And then you will receive a couple cautions here saying it might be a good idea to back up critical files before continuing. And it could take a little while depending on the size of your hard drive. So we're going to click on next here. So right now it's preparing our system drive. In some cases, depending on your computer, you might have an option. So then we might receive a notification saying drive preparation is complete. So and then you just want to left click on restart now and your computer will restart. So once the computer has finished restarting, I will be right back. All right, so at this point, I just entered our computer password and the computer has logged in. So now we see the bid locker drive encryption setup. Our drive has been prepared for BidLocker. So at this point, you want to left click on Next. So underneath, choose how to unlock your drive at startup. Even if you do not have TPM compatibility on your computer, you can still choose to unlock your drive with a password, either by inserting a USB flash drive or by entering a password. If your computer does support TPM, you might have additional options like configuring automatic unlocking at startup and you could also insert a pin at startup as well. However, since we do not have TPM compatibility on this computer, we do not have those options. So I will select enter a password in order to unlock our drive, even though a USB flash drive might be a little bit more secure, just for the sake of this tutorial. And at this point, you want to insert your primary password to unlock your drive. Make sure you keep this password safe and in a secure location and put it somewhere that you will not forget it. So I'm going to create the password here. Make sure you write it down in a safe location, just so you have it. And then left click on Next. Now it'll say, how do you want to back up your recovery key? There are a variety of different ways we could save it. We could save it directly to our Microsoft account. And you want to make sure it's pretty safe. I would honestly discourage this method because if someone gained access to your internet connection or through your Microsoft account, they could decrypt your hard drive files and bypass any encryption that you set up through BitLocker. So I'd be more skeptical of that method. You could also save it to a USB flash drive or you could save it as a file or to a file. Please note you cannot save it to any part of your encrypted device. You can't save it to the C drive in most cases because that just doesn't make sense. You can't save the password back up to your encrypted device. So we're going to save it to a USB flash drive. I've inserted one to the computer here. And then I'm going to left click on save. So it will save our recovery key onto our flash drive. So at this point you can left click on next and then you'll be prompted to see how much of your drive you want to encrypt. So you have two different options here. You can either encrypt used disk space only, which is faster and best for new PCs and drives, or you can encrypt the entire drive, which is slower, but best for PCs and drives already in use. So in, in essence, this would make more sense. The first option, if you have a large hard drive and you do not feel the need to encrypt all of the space on it, even if it's used or not used. So I'm going to select this just for the sake of time. However, if you're very conscious about having any information on your hard drive not encrypted, I would choose the later option. At this point, left click on Next. And you'll say, are you ready to encrypt this drive? It might take a while depending on the size of your drive. And then it'll also run the BitLocker system check, which will ensure BitLocker can read the recovery and encryption keys correctly before encrypting the drive. So the USB flash drive containing the save recovery key has been saved. BitLocker will restart your computer before encrypting. Note this check might take a while, but it's recommended to ensure that your selected unlock method works without requiring the recovery key. So I guess that's a pretty good precaution that Microsoft takes. 
and I think most people should be appreciative of that. So and then you want to left click on continue and again this will take a little while depending on how big your hard drive is and how much is being used so just keep that in mind so encryption will begin after the computer restart so I'm going to manually restart our computer here and once our drive is finished encrypting or I might actually tune it back in while it's encrypting just to give you guys a sense of what to expect so in either case I will be back shortly Hello everyone, I am back. So we see that BitLocker has successfully set up. So at this point you can enter your password to unlock our drive and then just hit enter to continue. And if for some reason you lost your password and you had to use a recovery key, you could hit the escape key on your keyboard and then just follow the on-screen instructions on how to insert your key and hopefully resolve any issues you might have if you lost your BitLocker main key. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.